Hey guys, Ragnarok54 here, and welcome back to another InScape video. So, sorry for not making a video in such a long time. I know it actually has been quite a long time. I actually did make a video, but it actually really sucked. I watched it, and I was like, why did I, well, like, I didn't really know what I was talking about in the video. It was just messy all around, and I didn't think it was upload worthy. So, I didn't upload that one. Uh, I hope you guys can forgive me for that, but I think it worked out for you guys for the better because if I was a viewer, I would not want to watch that video. So that is why there has not been a video in such a long time. In these next few days, I will probably be able to put out more videos instead of the once every five days kind of thing. But yeah, so a lot of stuff has happened since last video, so I'm not even going to try to go over all of it. I'm just going to try to go over the very basics, just basically the levels that I've gotten and the money that I've made and the stuff that I've been doing. So I have been doing quite a bit of farm runs. Uh, I just do all my herbs. I sold all the uh, uh, Aventos that I had and I am stocking up all the Aventos from my herbs now. So I have around 300 already. So I've been doing quite a few farm runs. I man I went to uh, buy the Master Greenfingers Aura. I did not know this existed somehow. And I just forgot it when I did my farm run just now. So it's a really amazing. I have a ton of loyalty points and I never spend them on, anyth any on anything. So I was happy to get this. What it does is it gives you bonus uh, chance to get double the crops when you do something. So when you see it says your aura allows you to recover an additional crop. So that just gave me two Aventos when I normally would have gotten one. So that is quite helpful actually. Uh, I think I'm going to make a lot more money off this, and I'm not using my loyalty points for anything else, so, I mean, might as well. So, uh, my farming level is now <clears throat> 70, so I believe that is two levels. I'm going to try to show you guys my levels, but I am not even going to attempt to tell you the exact levels that I have gotten, because I don't even remember what my last uploaded video was, because I've gone through several videos where I've made them, and they just sucked, so... Uh, there's that. So my total level is now 2091. I'm pretty sure that is at least like 50 levels higher than it used to be, uh, in my last video at least. I've gotten a ton of levels. If you guys really want to, you can compare with my last video and look at all the different levels and do that. But the main things, the ones that actually matter to me at least, are the ones that I got with my Enlightenment Aura, which I finally did get around to using. Uh, I'm glad I finally did that. I got 85 prayer. Uh, I can't find. Oh, there's it is. 85 prayer, 86 herb lore, um, 70 crafting. Uh, I got some construction. Uh, one construction level, I think, uh, and 70 farming. I, that's what I used my enlightenment aura on, mostly prayer. So I I really want to get 95 prayer for uh, turmoil and maybe even 92 for soul split. I know I have to do the quests, but that's that's not. Um, not nearly as time consuming as getting the money or the training of getting 95 prayer. So I think uh, if I if I spent all my money on it, then I would I would be able to definitely get that before the illumination or enlightenment. Sorry, I always get confused by that. The enlightenment aura goes away. That'll be my goal at least. I'm not sure if that's gonna actually happen. Oh, I still as a rhino. I'm quite sad these don't actually give any bonus XP anymore because it's not. It is not July anymore, it's already August. <clears throat> uh, I just have so much, so many things to talk about that I'm probably going to be quite confused. Uh, I did get 88 summoning, I think that's new. Uh, I can use Unicorn now, uh, so that is quite useful. I used it at Bandos and QBD. I have been doing a ton of QBD, at least since my last video, not in the past few days at least. Uh, I have a pretty nice tab going from just loot from Slayer and Bandos and QBD. So that's that's worth actually quite a bit of money. And I'm going to try to get quite a, I'm going to try to get a lot of the bones that I'm going to use for 95 prayer from QBD because that would mean I almost I'm in a sense if you think about it then it doesn't make sense, but if you if you just don't really think about it then it almost makes sense. So please Please don't think about it too much, but I can get the bones from QBD to get 95 prayer because I am planning on using dragon bones anyway because it's not efficient for me to use frost dragon bones. So you guys probably noticed that I have 430 mil in my pouch, quite a bit more than I normally have, and that's 
because I basically sold, well, I sold my Drygors because I wanted to flip Ascensions. So if you guys remember, oh, actually, you probably don't remember because I never uploaded the video, but I bought an Ascension crossbow randomly for like 185 mil uh, just to see what would happen, uh, how much better it would make my QBD, and it actually made QBD a lot better. I really like doing QBD with the Ascension crossbow as opposed to the Armadale crossbow. So I'm really glad I bought that. I was kind of kind of afraid that it was dropping because it was kind of dropping when I bought it and I lost like 5 mil, or it was 5 mil less than I bought it for at one point. But I decided to hold on to it because it was degraded and I couldn't really be asked to go all the way to Bob and Lumbridge in order to have it fixed. And lo and behold, uh, Araxor comes out and the Ascension crossbow is worth like 200 mil. So I ended up selling it for like 205 mil after buying it for 183. So I made 20 mil off one flip, which I didn't, I wasn't even really a flip. I just bought a crossbow and all of a sudden it was worth more money. So I was very happy with that. Uh, then I proceeded to basically just flip with a lot of money. So I sold my Drygors and the Ascension crossbow and then I started flipping Ascension crossbows and I made like 60 mil probably in like three days, two days. So I made a lot of money off this. I was really taking advantage of the rising and falling. It really gave me some nostalgia from the old times when I used to flip a lot. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, I made a lot of money and then I lost 20 mil in one flip. So that was fun. I guess I just made a really stupid decision. I was really tired in the morning and I just, I don't really want to talk about it. If you guys um, can understand that. It was kind of sad that I had to lose that, but I mean, whatever, I still made money in the end. And then after I spent money on skills like crafting, prayer, summoning, herb lore, you know, those expensive skills that I train with the Enlightenment Aura, I am down to 430 mil from 460. But that's not too big of a deal because I can always make that money back, which obviously would be my plan. So I have been doing QBD and I just went and did QBD. I actually stopped recording last night and then did a few kills this morning. I bought dual ascensions. Um, so that's why I have these and that's why I don't have 430 mil anymore. But in one kill, I will show you guys the picture actually. In one kill, I got this loot. So an effigy, onyx bulk tips, and a dragon kite shield all in one kill. Uh, if you guys don't believe me for some reason, uh, I have the adventurer's log here. Oops, that was not a good idea. Uh, I have the dragon kite shield and the effigy after killing the queen black dragon one time. So that was pretty amazing. I'm really surprised I got that. I'm really happy that I got that. Uh, that's probably one of the best kills I've gotten, money-wise and just luck-wise, because I really like effigies and I really like dragon kite shields, of course, since they're super rare. And the onyx bolt tips are always a nice addition to the bank. So my loot tab is looking pretty awesome now. Uh, I still need to get a few more drops so I can organize it, but that'll all come in time. So they did a few updates today, and I kind of wanted to talk about those updates and how I'm actually going to be looking at the updates and being prepared for the updates instead of just learning about them a week after they happen. So I have been going to Reddit and the forums and stuff to look at what the updates are going to be and when they're coming out and stuff like that. And the patch notes from today, which is August 4th, um, are pretty interesting. They actually nerfed Destroy, Rapid Fire, and Asphyxiate to make it so that it no longer stuns the, um, the target for the first few seconds of the ability, which is kind of disappointing. It only really affects me for Eret because when I use rapid fire at QBD, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't get stunned anyways. I never really use Asphyxiate where it matters if they're stunned. But Eretz, it really helps when I use Destroy and they get stunned because then they can't attack me during that time and they actually do quite a bit of damage if they're not stunned, especially if they're about to use their special like rapid fire attack of their own. So I'm not really sure why they nerfed that. It wasn't too much of a overpowered ability or anything, or abilities, I guess. So I'm not really too sure why they're doing that. But that doesn't really affect me that much, which is which is good. So uh, they also did introduce the 1000th song. I actually went ahead and listened to it. It was actually pretty good. Book of a Thousand Songs. I obviously do not even have close to 1000 songs, so I do not have the cool new emote. But maybe one day I'll have that. 
They also mentioned a change to Barbarian Assault, which is going to come out. Um, I'm not sure if it's just the hard mode. They didn't really make that too clear. But if it is, that well, that's the only thing that would affect me, really, because I'm not doing the easy mode anyways. Uh, I really hope this is interesting. It looks like you can do it with a team now. And dual wield flamethrowers, if you guys have seen the behind the scenes video for August, that looks really exciting. Uh, and they also said that you're going to get more rewards, which is always good. I will always be looking forward to more XP, especially if it's as free as Barbarian Assault already is. So that'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. And lastly, they mentioned something about the clan rework, so that was interesting. Uh, they're buffing the XP you get in the Clan Citadel, which is amazing because that is where I get all of my mining experience. So I'll probably even get a, I'll definitely get a level when I cap at my Citadel this this week, which I believe the week just reset for my clan. So that's awesome. That is another requirement for Plague's End out of the way. Um, that means I only, I guess, need construction, dungeoneering, crafting, and. Uh, I don't even remember what the other level is, uh, that's that's pretty good of me, but, oh, agility, yeah, agility. So those will not be fun, it's going to cost a lot of money for some of those and just be really boring for agility and engineering, but hopefully I can get them before the quest comes out. They did mention the quest in the behind the scenes, I think for this month, and then next month the actual elf city itself will come out, so I really want to get that done before then. And I'm also going to have to do all the quests up to within the light, like Morning's End Part 1 and 2, which I have heard some not exactly good things about with all the puzzles and such. So that is not going to be the most enjoyable thing, but I'm sure it will all be worth it for the Elf City and just getting those level 75 milestone kind of levels in general. So with that, I think I'm going to get back to my QBD task, which I got, which is awesome. It's the first QBD task I've ever gotten. Uh, I got 86, so that's pretty awesome. Quite a few kills, that is actually a large amount of black dragons. So I can use my Slayer Helm to do lots of damage, along with my new dual ascensions. So I'm going to get back to that. Hopefully I can get some more awesome drops, like maybe a Visage, or something like that. The Visage, however you want to pronounce that, along with my new Dragon Kite Shield. But yeah, besides that, I hope you guys have a good day, and that you enjoyed this video. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Bye.